It just might be the smallest piece of artwork you interact with every day, all the time, everywhere. Typefaces are works of art. Every single letter has been carefully crafted for both legibility and to delight the eye. Every typeface is an artifact of its own moment of history. But once they enter the bloodstream of society, they become their own visual language, with their own vocabulary, with their own syntax, and their own grammar. And as such, typefaces tell stories. The typeface Futura is modernism in miniature. It's the most popular and enduring typeface from the 1920s. For me, Futura is beautiful because it's an echo of the ethos of its day. Form follows function, an industrial typeface for an industrial age. Every letter follows simple geometry, squares, triangles, circles. The geometric simplicity of Futura hides the fact that every letter has been carefully crafted for optimal legibility and precision. But mostly, I love the stories that Futura and other typefaces tell us every day. Every time someone uses Futura, they enter into a conversation with everyone who's ever used it, whether it's on a poster, a book, a website. These uses become a subtle social history everywhere it appears. Even though I love the shape of the typeface Futura, I love even more the conversation between its past uses and its current designs. For me, that conversation is a beautiful thing.